Oh, hi, didn't see you there. Welcome to week two of my OSCP journey. Now, this week, I feel like I've fallen a little bit far behind. I wanted to have all of my lab exercises completed by this point, apart from the buffer overflows. However, I found the Active Directory component of this new course material is just absolutely terrible. Um, there's a lot of PowerShell scripting involved and it's just not fun, is the simplest way I could put it. It's not enjoyable and it's not like you're, you know, it's not the situation where you try harder and you get it and you get that excitement. It's just tedious work that's just not enjoyable to do. And I found that's mostly been the case with the Active Directory component and a little bit with a couple of other components as well. That being said, I did like uh, parts of the pivoting exercises. I think there are some new exercises in the course uh, in the newer version, which I thought were pretty cool, like um, RDPing for HTTP. That was, that was pretty awesome. Um, and even part of the Active Directory components were pretty cool itself, especially all the Kerberos stuff. That was really interesting, but all this PowerShell scripting to enumerate Active Directory kind of felt like a waste of time because there's all of the um, existing scripts for Empire and uh, things like Power Up and all, all these uh, existing PowerShell scripts. I kind of see what they're going for. They're trying to, you know, build a bit more capability and exploit development, but it just was not enjoyable at all. Um, and I'm, I'm glad it's over with. So what I have left is just the Metasploit component, the Empire component, and the wrapping up component. Um, I'll tackle buffer overflows when I feel like I need a break from, you know, trying to hack the lab machines. Um, that would be a nice little break to get away from that and just re revise for my buffer overflows. Now there are two key things that I've really been thinking about this week and building off what I said last week is that the quality of these materials are really, really bad. Um, a lot of the time you're just copying and pasting things from the PDF and you spend more time uh, fixing the code just due to bad formatting than you would actually learning how it works and stuff like that. Um, and it's just very, very vague. I was thinking, had I not done my Elon Security PTP course before this, I would be so lost. It would be very, very difficult certificate to do. Though I'm very glad I've gone this route because I've been able to smash through the labs in, I'm guessing about 70 to 80 hours. You know, for the most part, it's been easy. It's just been tedious and time consuming and draining. Uh, and I'm so glad I've almost hit, hit the labs now. Anyway, that's it for this week. Thank you for joining me for coffee time and I'll see you next week.